right, so what we're having a problem with is we're having students that are not like in your third period class show up for your third period class meeting because you're finding those codes on um, your web page. So what we need you to do is clear out your web page. So how did I get here? I went to the school's website, found my page on the server, I clicked on it. Because I own my web page, because it's my web page, I have an edit button here, I can click edit. Or go search for your website in your drive. I'm going to click this little down arrow to search for a type of a site and then find your website. So either way, we're looking for this pencil. So I'm going to click edit. And we just need to get rid of the Google Classroom code so that way other LUHSD students aren't joining your class. If you have your Google Meet codes on here also, I would recommend you take those off as well. So again, we're going to keep the schedule because it's okay to keep the class schedule. But we're just taking the Google Classroom codes off of this page so that, again, they're not on the internet for random students to join. So I'm going to click Publish. Again, Publish is kind of like Save. And Publish it again. Now, some teachers put those codes on another page as well. So again, I would take that code off of that second page as well. So again, just erase it. Again, hit Publish. Again, Publish is like Save. And if you happen to have it on another page for the other class, because you broke them up by classes, which is fine, again, just make sure you take those codes off. And again, hit publish. Now, we need to take care of one more thing. So the catch is, it's okay to have your Google Classroom codes in Aries. They, in fact, they need to be in Aries so that new students can join your class. But the catch is, let me go to my home page. Only people that are going to see these codes now are students enrolled in your third period. So again, just a reminder, this website is Google Classroom, not my web page, just Google Classroom and then the code for my third period. Again, this is my link to Google Classroom, but it's also the code for my second period. So again, that's all that should be here. Many teachers put their meet codes here. I don't recommend doing that. If you ever need to change the link to your Google Meeting, you will need to come back and do that here. By the way, again, if you're having random people show up, you know, or your students told other friends what the code is, just a reminder, you can change this code by going to settings and where it says the link code, you can change it. Not right there. Sorry, it's right here. You can change it. Sorry about that. You can reset it to something else. So if you had kids passing it on to friends in another class, you can change the meet codes to something else. But again, theoretically, the only way students should be able to get to your meeting is through Google Classroom.